Well, good afternoon. Another beautiful day here on Wolfboro Bay. Uh, we got some ice boats. Uh, they just put them in, unfortunately. Uh, Mark over there drilling some holes. He's going to do a little jigging. See him over there. Uh, another great day on the lake. Not a lot of wind today, so I'll run in my cusk lines. Um, so far, I'm three for three. Uh, bucket. Good, uh, we emptied our bait, um, or uh, china traps this morning. We had a few dozen chinas, so if you go through a lot of, a lot of bait when you cusk fish, you use six, six per guy per day, so we can go through three, easily go through three dozen. It gets expensive when you start paying four or five bucks a dozen. Um, Anyway, I think I got somebody on the end of this line. Oh, let's see. What we got here? Oh, yeah. Well, not a huge one, but. Oh, look at it. Uh, ah, that's some dust. Oh. Ooh. Cold. Yeah, a good good chowder size. That makes four out of four. That's a pretty good day so far. Get that hook out. Get him. Setting cusk rigs, not much to it. There's a few legal things you got to think about. Um, a, uh, just look at it like that. Your leader, you have to have a one ounce minimum, uh, six inch. Uh, you can have no more than a six inch leader off your weight. This weight has to be touching the bottom. So you drop it down until it's hitting the bottom. And I'm on the bottom there. What you do is you give yourself a few inches of slack, like that. I'll wrap it up a couple times. Now I know I'm on the bottom because I got slack. And then you got to have your name and address, obviously, on your cusp trap. Just sit it like that, try to put it to the center of the hole. And then you gotta check them once every 24 hours. You also have to mark your cusp, cusp rig so people don't run over them. Snow, machi snow machines or, or whatever. And that's it, and then you go to the next one. But uh, cusp are probably the best, um, best freshwater fish swimming actually they're a cold water fish and they make a really good chowder and they're fun to catch so. been fishing this bay for a long time nothing's changed <laughs> let's see what we got over here look down and my line's straight down, so I may or may not have anything on it.
pair of gloves somewhere. That's five for five. Oh yeah, nice. That's a little better. Jumping jeepers, jeepers jumping on. Had a little buggers to hang on to. Let me get my glove. All right, you got me. For a coffee, a cup of coffee or some tea, whatever. Whew. Water is cold. Beautiful day out here, though. Careful. You can use a hook disgorger, but I'm kind of old school. I use my finger. As you can tell I get some battle scars. Nice crust, though. Not the most beautiful fish, but some people call them burbot or eel pout. Some have heard them referred to. Nice tail. Younger, I used to just use my fingers, hands to do this. Can you imagine that? Idiot. Of course. Some people question me out here in the first place. But if you want fresh fish, here's the place to come. That's five for five. It's a pretty good day. I gotta see if we win six for six. Yeah, what a beautiful day. Sunset over there. Yeah, you missed it, or I missed it. Anyway. off at an angle. That's a good sign. Six for six. I gotta make a shot. Oh, is that a tug? I think it is. That's six out of six. Yes, sir. Another nice one. All right. That's a good day. <laughs> six cusk lines, six cusk. All right, I'm clean up my mess and go home and get a coffee or a cup of tea.